Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Lina Ngumba, who is the senior statistician for the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Mm. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, sir. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you to tell us a little bit about the current status of the ICT sector in Kenya. Wow. It's from where I can start. It's a long story. Uh, but what I can say so far, we have done a lot. We have been able to compile a lot of ICT uh, statistics in the country. And this began from 2012, whereby actually uh, we didn't even have an ICT sector in terms of uh, in the NSO because it was combined together with the transport and communication. But with the revision of uh, international standard of industrial classification, that is ISIC uh, revision four, which has actually separated transport and storage and uh, ICT on its own, we have been able now to have even uh, an office or a sector on ICT only, whereby it uh, compiles now the statistics, both on households and also in uh, ent uh, enterprises. And uh, another main thing is that we have collaborated with the communication regulator, whereby we have a very fantastic relationship. Uh, and with these, since they're the main uh, policy makers in terms of ICT, we have been able to compile some of the indicators in the surveys we do. And we have also tried to uh, carry out uh, ICT uh, surveys in terms of enterprises, a standalone survey, yes. Now, coming from a statistical background, <laughs> mm -hmm. what would you say are the main challenges that you face in collecting data on the ICT sector? Well, sitting from the NSO, as we all know, it's not ICT is not the main you know subject or the main thing to to do a daily basis. We have other sectors whereby we have like GDP or compiling of inflation, which actually carries the main bulk of what uh, NSO does. So ICT actually is just the drop of what we normally do and trying to get the financial resources uh, to carry out a say, ICT standalone becomes a bit difficult and even getting a uh, human resource or human capacity to carry out the surveys and everything because we have so many surveys that we are doing. Like uh, currently we are planning for the population census uh, in 2019 and we also planned to do uh, a survey on ICT, which also needs uh, human uh, capacity. At times, the two can uh, get some friction due to you know uh, the demand of people who are needed and all that. So those are some of the challenges we get because we have too much to do yet. We have we are very few on uh, the human resource who can actually do this particular job. Then the other thing is the capacity building in terms of compiling ICT statistics, the new uh, ventures which are like big data. We would want to venture into that, but we lack the capacity skills for this particular area. So as much as we want to move forward at the pace that is required, we are still lagging behind because of some of uh, lack of some of these skills actually. Yeah. Kenya, though, well, of course, is the, the, the Nairobi, the, the Silicon Savannah there, we, you know, very much the, the focus <coughs> of a lot of interest to do with SME startups. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, them that I'm sure that are, are uh, of interest to you as well. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, in terms of, you spoke at length today about mobile money in mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, I know there are lots of apps that are being produced for that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, services. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see as the key indicators? Uh, for, uh, do you see these as key indicators for digital inclusion? It is and it should be. However, in countries that don't have it, maybe they use uh, due to you know availability of other financial applications, maybe they have. But for Kenyan case or African case in particular, the mobile money is the main answer to the financial, you know, closing in the financial gap that we are having. So if we leave it alone, we are not going, we are going to be left uh, behind because compared to the developing, the, the developed countries, they are more ahead, you know, in terms of financial inclusivity. Uh, and we are not. So we really need the mobile money indicators to be compiling to this, yeah. And finally, what would you say are the main takeaways from this year's symposium in terms of data collection? Um, as we saw from the symposium, um, one of the reasons IDI was not you know, released is because of lack of data. And this actually cuts across most countries. And Kenya is not left behind because there is the issue of uh, giving out uh, 
ICT skills, for example, which we are unable or we are yet to uh, capture it. So with this particular symposium and the need of collecting data, we need to go back home and uh, you know, emphasize to their management that we need to co start compiling these statistics as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. We look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the future where mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you'll be able to fill us in on, uh, on the statistical uh, progress that you've yes. been making. Yes, sure. Thank uh, you very much indeed. Thank you too. <laughs>